Hey guys, it's Jalen. Welcome or welcome back. I'm here today to share with you my update for lip service. This is a fantastic ladies club project that was created by Jessica and Amanda. And I've been doing this project for several years. The way that I like to do this project is I work on bullet lipsticks for the most part. I have historically worked on 10 bullet lipsticks that are mid to high end range in terms of price. This year I decided to roll in one of those 10 being a drugstore lipstick. So I do have one from Elf in this project. Yeah, Elf from this project, no, Essence, Essence right now on the project. I do have an e.l.f. product too. I also added this year, wow, this is a hot mess already. This year I added in a crayon lippy, which is the e.l.f. one I was thinking of. And then I also work on a deluxe size lipstick to finish. Now all the, all the other lippies, except for the deluxe size, I work on using a quarter of what's left in the product. So I had, I think, 11 last month. So I was working on 10 bullets. As I mentioned, I didn't have any extra sold in one crayon and then my deluxe size. So the question is, did I meet my goal on any of the full size lipsticks? And the answer is yes, I met my goal on three, which is very exciting. Is that right? Actually two. And I'm close to two. So let me share with you the two that are absolutely rolling out. The first one is the Tom Ford Lip Color Matte in Steel Magnolia. Here is the packaging. And there is the shade. Sorry if I'm holding things weird. I just painted my nails, so I don't want to mess them up. Anyway, there is the shade there. So one quarter of this is gone. Yay. Tom Ford's very pricey. Then I also met my goal on this Urban Decay Cream Vice Lipstick in the shade Rapture. This one is such a beautiful color. I love it. I don't know if this is part of their new collection of lipsticks. If so, I would 100% repurchase this color because it's gorgeous. So those are the two that are rolling out for sure. Now I am really close on two lip products, one of which I'm wearing right now. I actually have this over like a, I was wearing a red lipstick and I put this on top of it like what was left because it had worn away. This is the Shiseido. You guys my eyesight has gotten so bad. I think I need to get higher strength readers. Ugh. Even now I'm just like this is not this is not enough. A visionary gel lipstick in the shade Shimmering Mauve. And it's a little bit drying. That's the one thing I don't like about these so much is they are drying. Like right now, I think I'm, I'm gonna have to put a lip gloss over this because it's dry. Anyway, this one's really close. I probably have like three to four uses left on it and then I'll be able to roll it out. Now the next one I'm very close on is this Lancome La Absolu Rouge Cream Lipstick. This is in the shade Perfect Fig. This is one that you hit the top button or the button on the top of the lipstick and then the component comes out. There's the shade. This one is very close as well. There's the color there. That's a really crummy swatch. But these two are still in the project. I do think I'm going to hit my goal on them fairly quickly. Fairly quickly. So because I'm close on both of these, I do have two lip pro extra products I'm gonna bring in this month. But let me share with you how things are going on the other products I have in the project. I will put pictures over here as usual. You probably have already seen a couple. The first one I have is a Charlotte Tilbury. I think this is a matte revolution lipstick in the shade Secret Selma. So here is the shade and there is the color there. Let me grab my book because now I can't remember how close I am. I know I used this lipstick, but you cannot tell that I used it. So it's gonna be in here a little while. Next up I have by Burberry the lipstick lip velvet actually it's a lip velvet in the shade rosewood here's the packaging I found this one at TJ Maxx and again I think I don't think there's a ton of progress on this one or is there yeah I've used this and it does not show in the book how is that possible well there's just a there's a teeny tiny amount of progress anyway <laughs> I mean, I haven't used it a bunch, but I've used it and you can't tell. Next from MAC, I have a matte lipstick in Soar. This is one of my favorite colors. It's getting to the point where this is probably going to be a bit too dark to wear. There's the shade there. So, I, so I'm not sure. 
Okay, next up is this Giorgio Armani Rouge de Armani Matte in the shade. This is number 502 Co Kimono. <laughs> I'm struggling today. I'm sorry. There's the shade. This one I think has a teeny tiny amount of progress. That's it. There's the shade there. My swatches are all kinds of messed up today. Then this one's been in the project, I think since the beginning. This is the Essence Ultra Last Instant Color in the shade Undress My Lips. Here's the packaging. I guess I'm going to take off that sticker because it's all rubbed off. <laughs> Here's the shade. This one is so pretty. It's definitely a harder formula, so it takes a while to get through this. This one, I think I do have very little progress. <laughs> but it's another one where I'm like, I've worn you a bunch and you can't even tell. This is what part that I brought in last month. I have used this a couple of times, but there's no progress to show. The Huda Beauty Cream Lipstick in Sweet Cheeks. This is a really nice formula. I do enjoy it. However, it's a broken lipstick. It broke like as soon as I got it, which is, it, this product is well known for that. So I was like, let me go ahead and get some progress on this. Then my crayon is the e.l.f. like crayon, that they don't really have a name for it, in the shade T-Rose. And here is a shade. Now I do have progress on this and I'm actually close to hitting my goal on this one too. So I should have this one out, I'm thinking before the next update. I'm not gonna roll in a new product for it, but it's close. Now I ended up having to declutter all the other ones of these that I have in my collection. And this one seems fine. The other ones like had weird stuff growing on them and or and or smelled funky, but this one seems fine. So we're okay with that. And then my deluxe size, I have really good progress on. This is by by Beauty. It's the Amuse Bouche Lipstick in Rhubarb. And there is the shade. That is how much is love. So there's still plenty of product in here. Marley is talking, talking, talking. There's the shade. Love this color so much. <laughs> So for these two that are 100% rolled out, and then these two that are really close, I'm rolling in four new lip products. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take off these top two shades because they're the ones that are rolling out. And I'll see if I can fit four swatches right there. The first lip I'm going to roll in is one by Becca. This is the Ultimate Love Lipstick in the shade Sunday. And here is the shade. I'm trying to go for some springy colors. So there's the swatch there compared to the rest. I mean, not the same. Next, now I was gonna say, I've met my goal on a lot of these Becca lipsticks of using a quarter, but here's one, that's one that I haven't. Then by MAC, I have a Lip Tensity lipstick in the shade Ginger Rose. You guys remember these? Here is the shade. This is a very pink lippy, but it's good for spring. As we're going into spring, there's the shade there. Next I have from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I found this one at TJ Maxx and I was so excited because I really wanted this shade. This is their satin lipstick in the shade Praline. I don't know very much about these. Here's the shade there. It's such a pretty color right there. There's the shade on top. Gorgeous. And the last lippy I'm going to roll in is something I've been wanting to pan for a while. This is by Charlotte Tilbury. I have no idea. I cannot remember how I got this. But this is like, let's see if I can read this because the writing is super small. Pillow Talk Diamonds. So this is more of a topper. I mean, I might wear this on its own. But, you know, it's just been sitting around in my collection and I, but it's been in the, my collection forever. So I want to get some use on this. Not a color that I would normally go for because it's got kind of, it's kind of glittery and duochrome-y. But this is really pretty and I do want to get some use on it. So I'm rolling this one in to use a quarter. Anyway, those are the four new lip products I'm rolling in. And there is my updated, <laughs> there's my updated lip stick, lip service palette. That's what I want to use. So yeah, I think I'll have, I'm thinking I'll have three out next month. I think I'll have, I'll focus on using these three 
And then I really want to get some use on, like start working on these darker shades. So that's Perfect Fig. This one, that's the Shiseido. Soar, I really need to work on that. I may end up like doing some combinations with that. There it is mixed with Ginger Rose. All right, so here it is mixed with Ginger Rose. This is mixed with Praline. And then right there is mixed with the Charlotte Tilbury shade, Pillow Talk Diamonds. So I think that's actually some really cool combinations I can use with Soar. I love Soar on its own. I don't think it's going anywhere from MAC. Uh, so mixing it with some other lighter shades I think will be helpful to get use on it. Anyway, that is my update for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're doing well and staying safe. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hot Mess Express.